So yeah, back in uh, Folkestone, just gonna have a look at the uh, the galt clay again, uh, 103 million years old, uh, these ammonites. Uh, yeah, big thank you to the guys in uh, Cabonet, so uh, Jonas and Diego. Uh, so get them out on Instagram, it's uh, uh, at uhoptolites, EU, uh, as in the ammonite, and uh, at fossils de Cabonet. Uh, I've got some amazing finds over there and uh, those guys really know what they're doing. Uh, we spent a couple of days and we found a few bits, but uh, yeah, the day we spent with them found absolutely loads of pieces. So yeah, really nice, uh, really nice trip. So I hope you've enjoyed the uh, uh, French trip. Uh, it's quite often difficult to film when you go somewhere new because you're too busy looking and uh, not always finding. So probably a brief video, but uh, yeah, hopefully uh, I'll do another trip there at some point. Uh, see what we can find then. So yeah, just gonna have a look at the gold clay. It's uh, all good fun. See if we can find some uh, Albion Cretaceous Ammonites at Foxton before I set off on the long journey home. Okay, we're already on a find. I've just uh, picked out this gastropod and oh, there's two here, look. So we got oh, a little one there and a little one there, that's beautiful. Some of there, not sure what that is. Oh, it's a chunk of a bigger ammonite, that is. So cool, already a, already a find in the bag. Okay, is it there or is it a partial? Let's have a look. I think it's a partial. Yeah, partial that one. Oh, is that one there? I think it is, but it's crushed. Yeah, still not bad, not bad, but yeah, I think I'm going to leave that one quite the quality that we want. I just pick these up, oh, that's a shame that's not all there, so yeah it can be left. That one, again just stunning but uh, whether I can scratch the middle out of that not, or not I don't know. But yeah, can go in the pocket, still a nice one, we'll see what we can do with it when we get home. Oh, is that one there? I think it's just a partial. Yeah, just a partial, that's a shame. Another bit there. Well. There's uh, Foxton over there, the harbour in the distance. Uh, it's a bit murky and grey. It's, uh, at those clouds coming off the sea up the cliffs big old structure there I'm not quite sure what that is but yeah not gonna see France today of course because it's too murky yesterday was a beautiful day you could see England's white cliffs just gleaming in the Sun it really doesn't look very far away when uh, when you look from France when you have a, a clear day but yeah, obviously it is a fair old distance, 30 miles or so. Yeah. Don't know what that is, it's some kind of sort of... Ah, the thing I'm assuming it's probably probably from World War II, but... I don't know, maybe it's where they sent off the landing, the landing craft. And this is... Uh, Thousands and thousands of tons of concrete. Wow. I don't know what it used to be, but I can only imagine what the uh, what the cost today would be to build this thing. It's huge. Now these are these are not small steps. Pretty pretty tall. So I don't know if the the sea defences or what. I can't step up on them anyway. Put it that way. Whip. They had some sort of uh, posting of some sort. I wonder what it was. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Just a huge concrete slab. Or oh, huge concrete slabs. Wow. The sea obviously gets up here as well because it's uh, quite seaweedy and wet. Unless it's just a spray. But yeah, huge, great big thing. Must have been some at some, some point of time. Okay, 
Yeah, I think there's another one. It's only small, but oh yeah. That's there. A little wash. Little stunners. Yeah. Lovely. Very nice indeed. Add another. Gently. Oh yeah. yeah that looks pretty good. Nice. Well, done quite a lot of searching. I think that might be a good one. It's come out of a phosphate nodule by the looks of that. That's very nice. Look at the preservation. Wow, get you back on camera, that's, uh, yeah, fantastic, I like that. Come on, focus. Look at that, fantastic, gold clay ammonite. Hot, hot on the heels on that one, I think there's another one. Oh yeah, I think that's the Uoptolites. Be nice, it's gonna need a bit of glue, so that's straight in the pocket. And there's another one there, look, is it all there? Oh, it is. I think this must be the Uhopsalites bed. Nice. Now, that is a very, very nice one. Just sat there. Colours are just amazing. I can't really see on the camera, but really, you know, purples and yeah, just amazing. Pinks. There they are, fantastic colours. Not any better. Amazing little laminites. Fortunately, all the bigger ones seem to be uh, somewhat crushed. Never mind, keep looking. And there's one. Yeah, look at that. Get a little wash. It's not even stuck in the mud, that one. Look at that. Wow. Any better than that? Absolutely beautiful little ammonites. Well, this one might be the last one of the day. Just sat there. Lovely. Come here. It's made it muckier. <laughs> nice little pyrite one. Clay on that to come off. Very sticky this stuff. Very sticky clay indeed. Clean zone and give me a little clean with a toothbrush. all there as well. You seem to get little patches of them. Suddenly it's like, ah, actually it's not quite all there is that one. It's fine, I'll leave it for somebody else to look at. I'm sure the rain will clean it. One more find. Again, just the colours. I'm trying to just uh, get the reflection on the, the na nacreous shell. They're amazing. They're just so, uh, so colourful. It's almost like amylite. It really is. What, what a little ammonite. Fantastic. Just when you think you found everything, this perfect little ammonite is just waiting, uh, waiting to be collected. Fantastic little things. Look at that. Beautiful. Well, that's uh, almost uh, the trip done. So we've uh, we've been to Folkestone. Uh, had some really nice Cretaceous uh, gold ammonites, 103 million years old. We've had some lovely um, 
Ammonites from uh, Cabonet, from uh, both the uh, Senamanian and Turonian. It's around, I think, 89 million years old, I think. I'll have to double check that when I get home. But um, yeah, it's been a brilliant trip. Thank you very much to um, uh, Jonas and um, Diego um, and Martin from uh, Fossil de Cab uh, Cablinet. Uh, you can follow them on Instagram. I'll link, uh, I'll link them in the, uh, the video. Uh, one more location to visit. Um, might not find anything, so you may not see it. We'll see. Um, but if I find something, I might just do a little trip report. But uh, yeah, it's a long journey home. Five and a half, six hours. Uh, always the, the downside to every uh, every trip is the journey home. So uh, lots more adventures to come. Stay tuned. If you liked uh, the videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, till next time, uh, see you soon. Right, so I've come somewhere a little bit different. Uh, we can already see some broken gryphiers there. Quite a lot of gryphiers actually. Lots and lots. Yeah, let's see if we can find out interesting. Who knows? Now, oh, hundreds and hundreds of bits of gryphier. A bit of bellum night. I wonder if there is any ammonites in this lot. Well, if I find any, I'll let you know. Oh, got my first, first bit of ammonite, just there. Pick it up. So yeah, first bit of ammonite. So yeah, there are there are stuff here uh, amongst the gryph here. Another little, little bit of ammonite there. Little ammonite there. It's a it's a classic uh, Oxford clay location. This bellum nights again, just classic of. Uh, the Oxford clay so I might have to uh, look really carefully to see if I can find something because uh, yeah they are uh, pretty damn hard to spot absolutely littered with uh, little bits of bellum nights and uh, yeah, stuff so yeah it's very much a classic Oxford clay location yeah just have to find a full one that's the hard bit probably pyrite we'll see never tried this section before Oh, there's some more, another chunk of ammonite there. That's another chunk of ammonite there. Yeah, definitely a better stamp, so hopefully there'll be some full ones somewhere. Oh yeah, lots more, more, more. Yeah, just need a full one. Okay, I think that might be a full ammonite. Is it an ammonite or is it a snail? No, oh, I think it's an ammonite. Really small. Yeah, I think it might be an ammonite. Oh, yeah, an ammonite, but an interesting little brachiopod. A bit different. Well, I think I'm on the Oxford clay here. Definitely a decent exposure of it, but yeah, not very many uh, fossils. It's a uh, Plenty of uh, the usual um, uh, Gryphia, uh, Deli Tata, uh, the, the bigger ones. All sort of, very, reminds me a lot of the Tidmore Point really, except there's not a lot of little ammonites everywhere. <laughs> so, plenty of it to have a look for, so I'm going to have a little wander around here. You never know, might be something poking out. Might be something of a, a better stamp than you get at uh, Tidmore, I don't know. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely uh, lots of clay, plenty, plenty. Oh, I think there might be an ammonite. Just, just there. How easy that is to see. I don't know how easy it's going to be to get out. There's definitely an ammonite in there. Our best to expose it.
Oh, yeah, it's a shot. That's annoying. Is it out well? Oh, yeah, that, there's not much left of that. Rotten. Yeah, some sort of cardioceros. Yeah, it's uh, it was never there. All rotten inside. A bit of calcite there though. That's a shame, is that? So yeah, definitely here. You back in your tomb. 